Welcome to Let's Play, Dude. where we separate the cheetah men from the cheetah boys. Joining us this week, it's Sorgatron. How you doing, Sorg? Hey, I am not there. Uh, here I am. I'm here. I got glass in my face. Almost broke my neck uh, playing Frogger on it. And we'll uh, talk about my other new addiction here in a little bit. And uh, once again joining us, Riz. How you doing, Riz? Why did you pick Action 52? <laughs> because somebody had to. You played all 52 actions, well, didn't you? Or, it's impossible. Or you also played Frogger on Google Glass wait, looking at that post. Wait, Riz. Touch your nose. Okay. <laughs> this is great for audio. Pat your head. <laughs> oh, that's just like, that's up your nose. No, no that's we, fine. We just completed two of the 52 actions that he had to do. <laughs> Wait, are you and sure I this wasn't WarioWare we're playing? Uh, I don't know. And joining us in the studio, Chachi. How are you doing, Chachi? I'm here. He's I can see you. Hi. For the audio listeners, I am staring intently at this screen, at the camera. <laughs> I'm staring for at the audio listeners, Chachi is butt ass naked. Whoa, <laughs> use your imagination. How no, many don't. tattoos does he have? How many tattoos does he have? <laughs> Action 52 of them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, it's time to find out Who what everybody's knows? played this week. Chachi, since you're in studio, let's start with you. Um, I did not play f uh, Frogger on Google Glass. Um, because Google Glass good, is not a good, gaming device. Because it hurts. Yes. Don't do it. Um, Somebody's I, gonna get sued. I played Candy Crush. I played, um, um, Icon Mania. I played, I found a new game. It's called Bag It. Um, it's kind of fun. Um, Virtual Sounds Surgery. Dirty. Um, Swamp People. You played Swamp People? Yeah, it, it, there's a game for Android. Shoot it in the head, Chachi. <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> um, but uh, well, it, and that was that's what led to it. We were watching season two last night, uh, Chris and I, and uh, and I was like, you know what? I wonder if there's a soundboard. Because I I wanted I wanted because she she was sitting there making a drinking game, as we were going along watching the show with things that they said, and I was like I wonder if there's a soundboard, and I went I did a, a search in Google Play and there was no soundboard but there was a game so of course I downloaded it. Um, uh, what else did I play? I played Magic the Gathering 2013. If you uh, Planescape, if you have the chance, um, <laughs> yeah, pass. Don't do it. Don't bother. Um, out of everything they've released for Games for Gold, this is. Probably the worst. What was the oh, game? No. Magic: The Gathering 2013. Oh, Planescape. I wouldn't even try it. Well, here's 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 what happened. So, September 1st, sitting in my room, reading Twitter, playing video games, and I'm like, I see a tweet saying, "Oh, new Yeesh. games for gold up." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "Oh, sweet." And you're like, oh, "I'll try anything. It's free." Well, no, no, that wasn't the thing. Um, uh, I quickly read the article and it said, um. Magic the Gathering and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Uh, and I'm like, I'm, fuck, for that I'm like, fuck yeah, Rainbow Six. I'm like, I'll shoot some people in the face. Hey, you used to play the Rainbow <laughs> yeah. Six. Yeah. And so I went to the the Xbox Live Market and I couldn't find Rainbow Six. Is I found Magic the Gathering, no Rainbow Six. So I went back to the article and apparently, because I didn't read f clear enough, um, yep. Tom Clancy will be out on the 15th. Yeah. So Magic the Gathering is the game you get now. So I'm like, all right, screw it. I'll give it a It'll shot. It'll be a long 15 days for you. Mm. It is. Um, yeah, it's not that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have words for it. Um, I was like, uh, I don't think there's anything nerdier than what I'm doing right now. Mm. Uh, I'm playing a nerdy card game <laughs> on a video. Action 52. <laughs> it doesn't get better. Uh, yeah, I'm like, on, uh, uh, I sent a tweet up that said, on a, uh, I'm like, currently playing Magic the Gathering on Xbox Live. On a scale of one to ha 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 how nerdy is this? And, um, <laughs> now, yeah. now we do have a, a Magic, at least one Magic player in the chat room, so maybe you can go some more. Like, well, no, no. You're, you're not a play. You, you don't, you don't, you're not in the game, are you? Is he whoa, a wizard? Whoa, 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 whoa. So that hold was up. not accusatory. Hold up. I didn't mean that to be No, accusatory. no, no, hold up. Let me clarify. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with Magic the Gathering. I, I've played Magic the Gathering. Um, it's a little too much money for me. 
uh, it, it costs too much uh, to maintain a Magic the Gathering habit. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd rather put that money into video games. But uh, there's... there's Something that's going to pay off later. Right. <laughs> There, there's nothing life skills there's nothing wrong with magic the gathering yeah um it, my point was that it's magic the gathering on xbox mm -hmm. that was my issue with it so okay Excellent. it's for those of us too weak to hold cards <laughs> <laughs> all right are you done are you done shot yeah i'm done all right sorg what'd you play uh, well, let's see. I am still playing some... That's on me. It's on you. Oh, wow, this is jazzier. Oh. oh playing some really Plants vs. Zombies, You're too. welcome. There you go. Oh, yes, Riz, thank you for that scathing review. Uh, Wait, of what? Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, too? No, that was Chachi. Oh, that was that Chachi that did that post? <laughs> I, yeah. thought, I thought... I heard the music. I heard Why? the music, and I what immediately was wrong with my review? I don't. It, it got me into it because now I'm aware of it. Thank you. Oh well, no. It, it, there's not a problem with Plants vs. No, Zombies. No, no, no. There's too. not a problem with Plants vs. Zombies at, at too. all. Like everyone's making a big deal out of the fact that you can buy stuff in it. Have you needed to buy anything? I never really like my coins pile up so bad because exactly. I just play the game. You and didn't like, need to. Oh wait, I could just buy this thing, and I have a buttload of coins up there. Which is the same thing that happened in the original. So, there's no difference for me. Right. Now, if you're lazy as crap, then you deserve to spend three bucks for a plant. That you're going to unlock in a few gonna levels. you're going to unlock anyways. <laughs> it, the, the money is for the impatient. Yeah. And in this MTV generation, damn you kids and your Xbox. Or for those too lazy to hold cards. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like Bobby. Hey. What? Hey. I thought that what? was a self... Okay. <laughs> No? No. But no, yeah, no, I've been playing the heck out of that. Uh, I, I pulled up a little bit of, uh, I was playing a little bit of, like Mario on, on, on the uh, Nexus. I pulled down the uh, Sonic CD to see how that played on the Nexus, just the trial, since I already have it for the uh, iPad and everything. So, because I was very, I don't know if you guys saw my Let's Play post today on uh, on the group, uh, but I was, uh, I, I found a great article reminiscing about the speed of Sonic the Hedgehog. So I, I was Blast kind of processing. Kind of kick for that. Blast processing! Um, and all that kind of stuff. So that's me. Blast processing actually didn't exist. They, it was a buzzword they made up. Mm. But I'm, I'm really in, I am really enjoying uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2, though. I like the new kind of play models with it. I did the Pyramid of Doom. Uh, I like their little card selection. Uh, the, the plant food mechanic's pretty cool. The finger swipe power-ups you can do now like you can pinch the heads off the zombies um yeah it's just as addicting as the first one and pretty damn good so cool all right riz what'd you play saints row 4 has taken over my life oh kind of like plants vs <laughs> zombies for me yes even though i can play it on my console and not my phone mm-hmm and it's much better. Um, but yeah, I've been playing that and a game that I will be talking about. S okay. Oh, a game I will be talking about soon, which is uh, Payday 2. All right. Not to be confused with the candy bar. Right. Despite putting the freaking candy <laughs> right. bar on the article. <laughs> I did it. All right. I didn't. I, I did that for a dramatic effect. <laughs> Bob. They 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 see the candy bar. They click on it. <laughs> see, bank robberies. They become a candy block. We are going to review uh, Kit Kat, not the <laughs> OS or not the the Android operating system. <laughs> no, if we the were gonna if we were gonna change it uh, to save money and time. Insert coin to begin would refer to vending machines <laughs> instead of video oh, games. It. All right, guys, left Twix or right Twix? That's our boss battle question for this week. I tested the new Pepsi machine <laughs> with the arm delivery system, but I found that it made my uh, my uh, 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 Coke Zero a little too fuzzy, fizzy for my my taste. Um, we'll see. And, 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 I, I, and then the Snapple's just clang against I, the glass. I disagree. <laughs> I, I find the arm delivery system very calm in comparison to the drop method yeah, where they just yeah. push it forward Bullshit. and it drops and that's sh Bullshit. shaking up so. alright <laughs> Riz do you have anything else you play what are 
are we doing with our lives? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's third vending machine podcast. Oh, oh, I, do, I do. Vending time. I do like uh, Kit Kat Minis, though. Just. Throwing it out there. <laughs> no, 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 Bobby, what'd you play, please? <laughs> All right, I played Avengers Alliance, and I unlocked Squirrel Girl. I know you don't want me to talk about this sword, but she ah! has a move. She has a move where squirrels dive bomb you. Don't make me walk away, because then the shot's gonna be on you the rest of the show. <laughs> But yeah, walk I played away, that. Sir. I played. Uh, I, you I also should walk away through. just for the awkward shots of him when someone else is talking. <laughs> just like that one. I hope you like looking at Bobby, everybody. No, nobody does. <laughs> Please don't subject him to that. That's why nobody watches the video. <laughs> all right. Um, for also, our I, listeners, also I played. Simpsons Bobby is also out. naked. Um, what? <laughs> also naked. I did no, I Bobby, what'd you seat. play? I played. I'm trying to explain what I played. I played Simpsons Tapped Out as as well as Saints Row Four, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, Reckoning, which I I just got. Um, no Luke and No and Wee Wee's Adventure Three, which will be the next uh, games you should be made aware of, which will be up soon. Excellent. Um, and I also played Animal Crossing, which I'm going to talk about a little <laughs> later. And I played the challenge, which. We're going to talk a little bit about right now. All 52 of the actions? Did you do it? The I didn't do all 52. It's impossible to do all 52. Okay. Um, you, 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 as soon as you die, the game stops. It doesn't let you continue yeah. on. So they make you reset. I don't know if that was the ROM or the poor build play, like you said, Sork. Yeah. But it start, the game always starts with lights, camera, action every single time. And it's like, please make your selection. All right. I played like three or four of them. Uh, the one that stood out was Cheetah Men. And I'm going to read the intro of Cheetah Men. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are we ready? Okay, the action game master was at home playing his video game when suddenly... An arm reached out of the TV and pulled him inside, kind of like Captain End of the Game Master. But he's... When he looked up and saw three gigantic yellow bodies, it was the Cheetah Men. Mm, he began to cheetahs. explain. The Cheetah Men told of the enemies here in the game world, don't worry, we will fight for you. The Cheetah Men ran off. And now, <laughs> the Cheetah Men... <laughs> Way to go, guys. And it says, then, during this game, you will have three Cheetah Men, a different one every second level to fight for you. And then you, you choose one or two players. But the Cheetah Men running off after... The, like, why was the kid rescued? Like, he, they didn't rescue him. It just boggles the mind. This is, this is amazing. It's like a Cheetah in a... In, like, a gi or something? This, yeah. This is... This is so bad. Where are the bad guys? I don't know, but I tried to kill one, and it, and, and then I fell in a pit. Oh, hey, there's a bat. They punched the bat. And something else <laughs> that flew at them, and avoiding the holes very awkwardly. Like, it's not even punching. It's punching and kicking at the same time. Yeah, it's like <laughs> awkward motion. It's some tai Awkward action. It's some Tai Chi shit there. He has yeah, magic. But... Wow. Yeah. And I played, like, other games that were just terrible i played like a shooter one and i think i ran into a roof of a house with like an old school antenna on it and blew up even though i was in space and then i played uh as, as a scuba diver that shot lasers at sharks and i died <laughs> so wait i think I, did, I think i just found the scuba diver one is that it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks kind of like the jaws game actually it looks a lot like the jaws game <laughs> It was but very bad. even worse than the Jaws game. <laughs> awesome. So, so I'm sorry for subjecting you guys to this as, as a challenge. It was truly a challenge. Can we find good so, games for a while? Mario's missing. Oh, well, oh, isn't our have, next? What was our no, next one? Riz? Shut your mouth. We already did that game. Mario's missing. Uh, we're actually doing a <laughs> a pull rail, uh on straw pull, I believe. Okay. And we are doing a nice little. Homage to the world of entertainment. Okay. Like movies and such. Right now, we have Top Gun. Ooh, I like we Top Gun. We have Terminator. 
versus Robocop. It's a nice two for one. Wayne's World. Mm hmm. Pretty shitty game. And the home. And the game. And the what? Home Improvement. Home Improvement had a video game? Oh. Yes. Screw that. I'm overriding your pool. <laughs> Well, Type Gun is Top Gun is winning now. So oh. if you're in the chat at live.slurgatronmedia.com, you can chime in. There's a link in there. Top Gun is, is what we're playing. It's got to be Top Gun. Yeah, please. I think it's in the lead. Please. I voted for it. Yeah, it's got to be Top Gun. Yeah. No, it it is Top Gun. The challenge is Top Gun. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how that shakes out, Bobby. Yep. I think it's time for things we should be made aware of. Correct. Uh, sounds good to me. What should we be aware of this week, sir? This week, somebody um, very inventive with Mario Paint uh, took it upon themselves to take the catchiest song of the summer, uh, Daft Punk's Get Lucky, and make it in Mario uh, Paint. Could you pull that up, Sorg? Very good. Sorry about the audio. It's not bad. I love that power that that Mario Paint uh, compositions are still a thing. Yeah. It sounds exactly like the song. Yeah. It sounds good. I, I'm sorry I don't have the audio plugged in. Maybe I can get this in here real quick to get you something. That's me. <laughs> there you go. There it is. And this is our new theme. Until we get sued by Sony. <laughs> I don't know if you can sue for something like this or Mario. Like, yeah, because it's on YouTube. So. Oh no, it's a Let's Play for for Mario Paint. Look out! Uh, you're gonna... <laughs> There's our pull down notice. Awesome. They get, yeah, because this was like pretty big for its time. I mean, we had our uh, our music makers and stuff on PlayStation 2, but some people took a lot of time. Because remember, uh, those will remember Mario Paint was for Super Nintendo and mm -hmm. it had a mouse. Yeah. That was the yeah. big thing. Yeah. This is like 1991 and we got a mouse for our console. Yeah. And people yeah. still use it. The best part was the uh, fly game. The fly game? Yeah, it was the only game. Oh, was it like the fly swatter yeah. or something? They had something yeah. for like the super scope or the master or something like that too. And then the uh, giant robot fly comes out. Yeah. yeah. You have to beat it. Yeah. Wow. Good times. Yeah. Good times that was one of the best paint. tech demo game things I think we, we we ever saw. Yeah. So. So all right, um, I think we're gonna we're gonna move on to our news segment next. Uh, Riz, I think you have a story on Payday Two, not the candy. Bar. Uh, yeah, not the candy. Even though the candy. Well, the candy I don't like because it has nuts in it. But it's anyways, really candy, though, onto either. the actual game. Uh, it, 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 Payday 2 is okay. I mean, I, I, I liked it because it's fun. But there are instances where I'm in battle, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get the loot in a in a timely manner. So I'm getting the I'm getting the money, getting everything done. And then, all of a sudden, my screen stops, and the new player comes in. <laughs> now, I'm okay with this. Is I'm like okay Street with Fighter? new players coming into my game and ruining my thing. But, pull your weight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't, wait, 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 don't wait, just wait, wait. come in here. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pull now, your weight. Now Don't you... just stand there and and shoot people while you're trying to do this. It's not the objective. Now you know, but <sighs> how everyone you've ever played with in Call of Duty feels. Yeah, yeah. Pull your weight, Riz. Yeah, pull Riz. your weight. Well, no, 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 no. It's different because. <laughs> No, what it's we not. Do in Call of How Duty is it different? Is either stand, either stand in a one spot and shoot things, or shoot things. That's this candy. one has objectives. You have to take payment to a truck. You have to take jewelry to something else. Tie hostages. Do all this stuff, and try not to get killed. How is that the same as Call of Duty? No, wait. There's objectives in Call of Duty. Yeah, it depends on what mode you're in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, wait, how many times do we get pissed off when we're like, oh, that guy's just going and killing people to start to up his rank? 
Yeah. Instead mm-hmm. of like oh, going yeah. for the bomb or defending right. something. Uh, good point. So, <laughs> but I'm, still, but still, the entire game is <laughs> is filled with objectives. Mm-hmm. And if you do not do the objective correctly, or well, there there is multiple ways to do the objective. Mm-hmm. Quietly, burst through the door, shooting, whatever. But if you don't complete that mission, one of the cooler things that I've seen is that um, they they randomly generate the scenery. They do ra- randomly generate where the objective is, where the safes are, where the where the main house, it main main place is, where you have to stay. They change all of this up, which leaves you in a newer game that's fun and interesting. But yeah, if you're playing with me, you better know what you're doing. <laughs> so says the Riz. You, so uh, it will be. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> all right. Um, next up, we're going to talk about a calmer game. Uh, <laughs> I hope and, so. Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've been playing it. Are you um, sure about that? About Mike's... What's that? Is it, are you sure about that being calmer? Oh, I have a black market Apple <laughs> going on. Oh, he does. Listen I to do. this. All right, tell me about your Animal Crossing adventures. All right. Um, we, now, I'm first like, off, can I can I, I, bought, I can I get a? Now I am not somebody who has really played, looked at. I knew very very little about Animal Crossing. Can you give me a really quick primer? What should I know about Animal Crossing before going into your story? Um, you are a mayor of a town full of animals. And there you go. All right. Yeah. All right. That's all you need to know, sure. really. Um, I, I, I didn't know anything about Animal Crossing going in either. Um, I, I heard Chris Hardwick talking about it on the podcast and, and the indoor kids. So I was like, eh, I'll try it, you know. And I got it, and I needed a game for my 3DS. Um mm-hmm. I, I started out, it was a pre-owned uh, copy of the game, so when I went into the, t- the town the first time, there was this other random kid that had the game before me that had a town, and he was the mayor. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, I don't want that to be, I want to be the mayor. So I had to delete his town, and, and, and the dog secretary begged me did not you, to delete the town. Did you have to town. kill him? <laughs> and, and, I, and I had to delete the town. I, I wanted to be mayor. My turn. <laughs> So why did he trade the game in, huh? Anyways, so I get off this train and, and surprise, I'm the mayor. All the uh, townspeople appoint me mayor just because I stepped off of a train. Um, but then I get a re- letter from the real mayor saying, I'm supposed to be mayor, but it's our little secret. You can be mayor. What? <laughs> so, as politics go sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so It's our little secret, Bobby. So I I, I, I I go to um, the uh, city hall, and they say you can't. You, you're the mayor, yes, but you can't do anything until a you have a house because you have to be a resident of the town, um, and b you have to have a hundred percent approval rating from the citizens. <laughs> do you know how hard that is in real politics? <laughs> okay, so I I, I like. I want to explore a little bit, so I go out and explore. Um, by the way, I'm living in a tent. <laughs> they give you a tent to live in. All right. Um, so I, I go wait, to the store. You're the mayor. Called, wait, 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 wait. I go to the store you're called the, mayor the retail. And you live in a tent. What's that? The, yeah, the mayor lives you're in a tent. You're the mayor, and you live in a tent. Most I, I live in. I live Most in a tent. Standards. I lived in a tent. I'll get to that later. But. I, I, I've been gathering apples off trees. You shake trees to get apples, and you can pick flowers, and you can pick seashells up and stuff like that. So I've been I've been going around and doing that. My pockets were full, so I wanted to go to the store to see what, what I could get. You know, I didn't understand the economy. Um, it's based off of bells. Um, instead of the dollar, they use bells. So I purchase... No, I didn't purchase anything. I, I couldn't afford anything because I didn't have any bells. So I decided to like trade something in, and the alpaca that runs the store gave me 100 bells per apple. And I'm like, wait a minute. So you're telling me I get 100 of something for just an apple? 
So that's how I got started on my black market Apple scheme, where I just go around gathering up apples, selling them for $100 a pop. Then I discovered that you can sell she sell seashells by the seashore. Um, giant giant clam shells for 450 bells and coral for like 250. So I started selling them and stuff like that. I got enough to uh, make a down payment on my house, which was 10,000 bells. They built the house. I got a new neighbor. I went to her birthday party. Uh, bought her an umbrella. She was a penguin, and I think she might have been a divorcee. I'm not sure. What? Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, um, that was my first few hours with uh, Animal Crossing, and I still don't have a 100% uh, approval rating from the citizens, but I'm doing mayoral jobs, like collecting bugs, um, fishing, pulling weeds, you know, ma- mayor stuff. Okay. The real mayor stuff. Do your do. damn job, Bobby. <laughs> so, all right, that's, that's my wrap-up on Animal Crossing. So hopefully you'll hear uh, more adventures of Animal Crossing as the weeks, weeks come on, as the show goes on. So, yeah. it came from Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'm a mayor. <laughs> so, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Next, we're gonna move on to um, the GTA track listing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The soundtrack sounds awesome, everybody. This whole um, game is so awesome. Fifteen there. radio stations, two talk stations, mm-hmm. licensed songs, two hundred forty licensed songs, and what Palpovich calls. 20 movies worth of score. Yeah. <laughs> According to this article, that is officially a shitload of music uh, on the site that I can't pronounce. Uh, I'm going to go through and um, name some Thank of the you. songs, that, just Co-talk a few of the songs that are on. Um, NWA Gangsta Gangsta. Mm-hmm. Uh, DJ Quick Dollars and Cents. Snoop Dogg's Gin and Juice. Uh, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre the next episode. Oh man, I hope there's a car with hydraulics in this game. Yo. There probably oh, is. Because I will nice. just, I will, I spent enough time just driving around. Now we're gonna get sued, Sword. Sword. Um, Ice Cube, you know how we do it. Copyright, Sword. Uh, Foreigner, Dirty White Boy. Elton John, Saturday Night, Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting. Uh, the Doobie Brothers, What a Fool Believes. So basically everything uh, Radio that Gaga by Queen to in the last 20 years. Get this. Eddie Murphy's party all the time. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Listen, yes. I will I will fully admit that while playing Lost and Damned, Lost and the Damned. Yeah. All right. Uh, cuz during the game uh, during all the GTA games, whatever my character seems like, that's what type of vehicle he drives. Mm-hmm. So like in uh GTA uh, San Andreas that dude never rode a mi- motorcycle unless the mission said he had to so it, playing Lost in the Dam the guy was always on a motorcycle and I'd always listening, listening listen to the uh, classic rock channel I would circle the block as long as it took for uh, Bon Jovi's uh, Dead or Alive to end before I hit the marker to start the mission. So now I and will... now you're... Belting it while yeah. you're doing it, right? <laughs> yes. Just belting it. Well, I fit. I was on a motorcycle. It was my steel horse. It worked out. <laughs> but, uh... Um, yeah, so... Uh, my driving time in GTA Five is just going to skyrocket. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Bobby went away. Bobby went away to Bobby, no. the show, so uh, let's move on to the next thing. Riz, you have another rant about America. Tell us what's going on. America. What's got your goat? Well, well, first of all, um, a tragedy did happen. Uh, someone is, you know, gone from this situation. Uh, but an eight-year-old... Well, video games are being blame for another death yeah, as yeah. an eight-year-old. What game this time? Grand Theft Auto. Oh, lovely. GTA 4, isn't it? Oh. Wait, GTA 4. Wait, it gets better. <laughs> the perpetrator shot his grandmother with a loaded gun. Um. The age of this pe- the age of this person? Eight. 
uh, okay, first, I, I have a Eight. series of I have a series of issues with this entire thing that you've said so far. Go ahead. Um, one. GTA is rated M for mature. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, last time I checked, and I'm I'm not a child expert, and I'm not a parenting parent parenting expert, <laughs> but eight isn't mature. I think seventeen. No. Seventeen. Okay. Sound, sound about right. All right. So. Uh, okay. That that's an issue I have. Um, secondly. One. And maybe it's just me. Where did the kid get a loaded gun from? I don't know. <laughs> I think if anybody... Uh, but apparent, uh, we're just diverting from the gun control argument, I think, again. Yeah, but apparently... Not that I'm one way or it, another it, on gun control. I just want to state that. It took the sheriff, and I put the quote in the thing, in, on, on insertcointobegin.com, on my rant. I put the quote on there, and he basically said that there is no evidence... I mean... This is still a hot case. Oh, wait, but so, so we don't even we know. Do know. So we don't no, know if the eight-year-old did it or not. No, he, he. they know the eight-year-old did it. And they know that the eight-year-old had the gun and ha had fired it after playing Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> Circumstances. I... I I don't know what this guy's thought processes are, and it's confusing the hell out of me. Listen, to uh, <laughs> to point out how ridiculous this entire statement is, um, I once got diarrhea after playing Cooking Mama, <laughs> but I didn't blame it on the food. That is the best. He kills Chachi. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. I, I mean, I didn't blame it on the cooking from the game. That's how ridiculous that that statement sounds. I don't. It. But yeah, <laughs> well, everything that Chachi just said <laughs> was the exact same thing that is in my article at Insert Coin to Begin. There is no way. No way to say that this kid, eight years old, should have played a game rated M for mature, first of all. And the bigger issue is, just when, why, where's the gun? Where was the gun? Was it just mm -hmm. laying on the floor? Was it <laughs> locked somewhere? Uh, from the chat, did uh, you just leave your gun tucked in your recliner, and the kid found it while looking for candy money? From the chat, I, I think there's a good point. Uh, Antonio Garza says, uh, I, I've, "I call this bullshit. I've been playing FIFA for more than ten years, and I still can't play soccer worth shit. Though I did become a train engineer after playing Train Simulator 2000." Nice. So there Listen. you go. There you go. One. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, me sword. Yeah. See these two games I have in my hand? Yeah, uh, Audio Injustice, listeners, Saints Row 4, okay. Injustice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit Both of games have... Hold still, hold still. Both games have... Oh, sorry. Both games have superpowers. Yes. I don't I have got, superpowers. To go along... I just got mine. To go so along with... I cannot fly. Yeah. Are you Squirrel Girl? Uh, no, I am a mayor. <laughs> to, to go along with uh, what Antonio said... Um, yeah, the only game I've ever played that I've picked something up from is Tetris, and Sword can attest to that. That's right. You um, can pack the back of the car like nobody's business. Yeah, without even we blinking. We have to hum the music, though. It's really weird. Yeah, well, I mean, I play, I've put in uh, uh, thousands of hours playing Sims, and I still don't trust myself to take care of myself or others. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I... Just gonna, Do you get deja vu? Who like, like the cancelled actions that, that like would put people in the bathroom and the, or no put people in a room. Oh, and that was Julie. Door. Yeah, Julie would put people in the room and remove mm -hmm. the door and just until catch they, it on until fire they, until they, they then catch it on fire <laughs> yeah. and wouldn't let them pee and, and yeah. stuff like that. Well, yeah. Julie might, Julie might actually do that. <laughs> Julie's a sociopath, <laughs> so that, that, that's uh, yeah. But yeah, so I mean, yeah. the only game that I I've picked up a tangible skill from is Tetris. Um, Building. And, and so, organizing. So I, I can build. Uh, timing is good. 
but but I do have to. What? But I do have to say, L.A. Noir has made me into the most awesomest detective in the history of ever. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? <laughs> in the 1960s. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I'm any good at smacking whores. You know what? You know I've what? never tried it. <laughs> You, you know what? I've, I've, awesome. we, we, we own three uh, versions of Dance Dance Revolution, and I can cut a rug on the dance floor. I'm just saying. No, you can't. Let me, let you are a back. horrible white dancer. It's <laughs> bad. No, I am an excellent white dancer. Thank let you me very go, much. Let me, let me go back to GTA 4. <laughs> um, the game doesn't make me want to kill people. It makes me want to go bowling with my Russian cousin. <laughs> Hey, that is what it makes me Hey, cousin, let's go bowling. I think That's we said this The main character is like it, sort of because you haven't row. spent much time with GTA 4. After you get through a certain point, yeah. uh, the main character's cousin will call you incessantly and mm-hmm. ask you to go bowling. And nothing I else. I think I got to that point. Nothing <laughs> else. Like, you can you can go play darts. You can go play pool. But he wants to go bowling. He wants to go bowling. I need to go back Let's to that go game. go bowling. It's, it's the equivalent of Skyrim's heir to the knee. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was, was gonna to do that mission, but I went bowling instead. Mm-hmm. He, he also wants to see big American titties. Yes. He does want to see. Who doesn't? Though? Come on. <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna segue into our boss battle question. I think that was um, the boss battle question. What big American titties? Oh, <laughs> yes, oh, I agree. Kinda, I agree. Guys, it's about candy bars. That's Let's the show the right title thing. as well. <laughs> I agree with big American titties. Uh, All right. Um, no, video game violence does it affect people? No. No. <laughs> I think we said no. no. I, I, I would There's your to... show. Well, no, no, no. no. Let, let, let's 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 t- let's take it back here, though. Uh, it it's like, e- the the system is placed in there for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's for people not to get ideas. I, well, here's my problem. I like, think for ki- I think if you're going to say yes, this person was affected by it. Um, I, we said we talked about awesome cast with like um, all these devices and are they distracting and are people more people going to wreck? And I said like yeah, the people that st- can't change a radio or are looking at their cell phones instead of driving like they're supposed to be doing. Same kind of people that decide to do makeup at seven thirty in the morning on their way to work in rush hour. Uh, already, those are fun. Already have a problem. Yeah, they already have a mm. problem. The person that is going to be affected by. GTA or whatever, or Saints Row, or, yeah, or there's always whatever. already something wrong so, there. Yeah, you can't more, you can't outlaw something like this because there's already effed up people in the world. Mm-hmm. You know, it's more of a it's yes. more of a mental health issue than it is a video game issue. Yeah, and it's not, not a video that. game issue. We can't like delete everything just because somebody could have something wrong with their mm-hmm. brain and this happens. You know, I, I you can't like lock ev- make everybody stay in their house so serial killers. Don't don't pick them up off the side of the road, you know, because there's some of them out there, and it's such a small minority. Okay. I stepped on a bug once. We should probably get rid of bugs. <laughs> I mean, it, it goes down back to the like guns don't kill people, people kill people, you know, idea. You know, outlaw all the guns. We're gonna start killing each other with forks. You know, I mean, it's not even. I'll fork you. You. F- Thank you. I collect Chachi. bugs that and donate them to, to my local museum. What's that, Bobby? I collect and bugs and donate them to my local mu- museum as l- as the mayor. <laughs> I don't understand what that has anything to do with this conversation. Animal Crossing! Okay. <laughs> you know, I said I, I stepped on a bug on once. Anymore. We should ban bugs. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Or shoes. Not, yeah. not, shoes. Not, we shouldn't ban bugs. We should we ban should shoes. shoes. Shoes don't kill people. Or kill, <laughs> shoes don't kill bugs. Feet do. Yes. You may only wear sandals with socks as the Germans do. <laughs> Ban feet. Everyone must oh, no. levitate. Mm. Oh, that'd be kind of sweet, actually. <laughs> oh, no devices. Just levitate themselves. So everybody gets a segue. You get a segue. And you <laughs> get a segue. All right. No? no? Well, no. that's. I think that's going to do it. Let's segue out. <laughs> segue out. We're going to segue on out of here. Um, this week's challenge, Riz, what is it? What won the poll? Is it Top Gun? I believe it is Top Gun. Top Gun. Yay. There you go. Planes. All right. Um, so uh, Top Gun's challenge wait, double check. It, it looks like it's Top Gun to me, sir. Okay. It's so it's official. 
Top Gun is the challenge this You'll week. You'll be my wingman, Bobby. If you want to tell us how how um, you played played the game, how how you fared in Top Gun Adventures, let me know if you had a you better can... time landing that damn plane after the first level than I did when I was younger. Because yep. that's, that's 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 me. Tough. That's me. That's me right there. Oh, I could land the shit out of that plane I now. Have problems with it now? <laughs> now, now, now I can land it. Makes the... sense. Yeah. yeah. Now we understand trigonometry. Speaking of, <laughs> and, and real quick, I don't know uh, uh, landing planes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the arcade downtown. Mm-hmm. God, this awesome, uh, I think it's Japanese, like, uh, commercial air f- airline oh, simulator. No. I think they had one of those at Lowe's. Yeah, it's the same one. Oh, no. I, I played it. I didn't crash. It was amazing. Sorry. I, we cra- can- I crashed the crap out of that when <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> oh, no. No, the, no. no, don't get me wrong. When I did it, like, completely manual where it doesn't tell you anything. Yeah. Oh, I crashed the shit out of that airplane into a major <laughs> city. I just oh, the hell out of that airplane. Oh, yeah. Bobby? <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. No. Well, you, you can tell us about your uh, jet uh, adventures um, <laughs> at InsertCoinTV. Um, you can tweet us on Twitter. Um, you can also go to InsertCoinTV begin.com for new stories going up daily and that'll do it for us this week game over